Well, hello for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz video today here on our YouTube channel. And I would like to show you something interesting that you may not know you can do in Fritz. Notice that when you have an, an engine loaded in Fritz up here in the clock, you wind up with a logo with the name of the engine. And it's also down here with the engine analysis pane. You'll see I have an engine called Diablo here. And you kind of have to wonder where that came from. There, you, you may never have heard of this engine. In fact, if I hit F3 on my keyboard, you'll notice I have a whole lot of chess engines available for use in my Fritz interface. Where do they all come from? Well, there's a ton of chess engines out on the Internet that you can download. Most of them are free. Uh, most of them are, are, are amateur chess engines. They're not done by professional people you know, doing it for a living. They're doing it for the fun of it and they're available for free download and many of them can be loaded into the Fritz interface. Today we're going to show you how to do that. I will tell you though up front there's a disclaimer and that is because we're dealing with third-party software. We're dealing with software that is made by people other than Chessbase and stuff that is not sold by USCF Sales. This is not stuff that I do technical support for. I will show you how the feature works in Fritz, but if you have a problem with a particular engine, you don't like the way it plays, you think it's programmed wrong, etc., you have to take it up with the programmer. That's not something that we have anything to do with. Actually, any kind of a programming issue with the chess engine that we do sell, I'd wind up passing you on to the programmers anyway. There are two kinds of downloadable chess engines. Uh, one of the, there are two different formats. One is called Winboard and one is called UCI, which stands for Universal Chess Interface. Now, while it's possible to get a Winboard format chess engine to work in the Fritz interface, it requires yet another piece of third-party software and considerable tweaking to make it work. So we're not going to cover that in this video. We're going to show you the easy way, which is the one that Fritz directly supports. The format directly supported in Fritz is called UCI, Universal Chess Interface. That's the thing to look for. If you go to a site that has a downloadable chess engine, make sure it's a, U, it, 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 it's a UCI chess engine. It goes along with the UCI protocol. The programmer should tell you that. Some, some programs will actually do engines two different ways. They'll do a windboard engine and a UCI engine. If you see that, get the UCI one. I'll show you how to do this. First of all, you download them to your, to your hard drive. Usually you got to unzip them. There's usually multiple files. The only file you actually need is an executable file, the .exe file. All the other stuff, they give you an opening book, they give you other things. It's not going to work in Fritz. You just need that executable file. To load it into Fritz, all you do is this. Go to the Engine menu and go to this command here, Create UCI Engine. You're not actually creating a thing, but what you're doing is you're importing a UCI Engine into the Fritz interface. So click Create UCI Engine. I've already done this a couple times. You see where I set up Diablo already. It'll default back to wherever, whatever your last UCI engine setup is. I download my chess engines into a folder called Chess Engines, oddly enough. And if we click this button right here, it'll take me to that folder. And you'll see that I have several chess engines here waiting to be installed. One of them is called Critter. And the reason I got it is because if you're a chess player from south of the Mason-Dixon line in the United States, you cannot possibly resist having a chess engine called Critter to play around with. So I'm going to select Critter. Just select it, click Open. After a moment, what it will do is it will fill in some information for you. You'll see the author's name, the fellow that wrote the engine, the programmer, the name of the engine right here, and that's all you have to do. It's done for you. There are other settings you can play around with. Don't even fool with that stuff. Just click OK. It'll look like nothing happened, but hit F3 on your keyboard to go to your engine list. Or the other way to do the same thing, by the way, is to go up here to change main engine. It does the same thing. And there's Critter. And we can select it, click OK. It loads the engine, and because I found a logo for it, there it is. A lot of these engines have logos. They need to be in BMP format. And this is all technical stuff. If you're not interested in file formats and renaming files or don't know how to do it, don't worry about it. But a lot of these engines do have logos that you can download as well. They need to be in the same folder with the Chess Engine. They need to be in BMP, bitmap format, and they need to have the exact same file name before the dot 
as the Chess engine. So, for example, if this engine was called Critter dot or Critter dot exe rather, uh, the file for the logo should be Critter dot bmp, and it'll show up here in the clock pane. And there's a ton of engines out there. As I showed you, some of these are windboard engines, some of these are UCI, but there's a lot of them around, and you can download and play around with a ton of them. Some of them are strong, some of them are weak. In fact, some of them are very weak, which is why I mentioned this in this video. We've been talking about finding ways to make Fritz not give you such a hard game to be able to play a game in your chess interface either by loading a weaker engine or by playing in a handicap mode where you get a competitive game without getting killed every time and some of these chess engines are pretty weak some of them are incredibly strong in fact the majority of UCI chess engines are playing grandmaster level chess at least in in rated games against each other they're coming out with ratings of 2600 plus so most of them are quite strong but you can occasionally find a weak one out there you can use and install just the way I showed you go to the engine tab create UCI engine just click on this button to go to the Windows file select dialog go to the folder where you have your chess engines select the one you want to install click open wait a moment you'll see this all change click OK it looked like nothing happened but when you go to hit F3 or to change main engine scroll to where it would appear alphabetically and there it is. And now Aries is loaded. Till next time for USCF Sales, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.